This video will cover how you can use a concept map to jumpstart your research. Let's say you have a general topic for your research project, but when you start to search for information, you discover that your topic needs to be refined. Concept maps are a great way to break down a topic, discover different areas of focus, and develop keywords for searching. Looking at the topic of climate change, this is a huge subject. Let's use a concept map to make this more manageable. To start building your concept map, ask yourself what the major issues or themes related to climate change are. Is there something you have discussed in class, read in the news, or just have a personal interest in? Asking these questions helps identify areas that you might focus on in your research. What did you come up with? Some examples might be environmentalism, weather, participants, agriculture, or origins of climate change. Ask yourself, what are other terms used to describe these key concepts? Brainstorm alternate words and phrases and add these to your concept map. Seeing these various options might help you narrow your focus or inspire a new direction for your research. For this example, let's say you decide to focus on what types of environmental movements are organized by students on college campuses. What are your next steps? Instead of plugging that entire research topic into a search box, take a few moments to ponder possible keywords that describe your research question. Concept maps are great for this. What are the main themes in this research question? Environmental movements? students, and colleges. What are other terms used to describe these words? Or do you know of any specific examples? Add these to your concept map. Once you have filled in your concept map, use these terms to discover sources in a search tool. Make sure to try different combinations of the terms you identified in your concept map and see how your results change. Questions? Please ask. 